Hey guys, uh, hello from the German part of uh, Switzerland. I'm currently in Zoos and today I'm filming this cool Lithium Alpinum Zoos. So basically this is the main building. So basically this is the school, this is the main entrance and I came from uh, Zoos, uh, like a little Swiss uh, mountain village. Just a few days ago I was in uh, sunny, sandy Dubai where the weather is uh, 30 degrees and now I'm in Swiss mountains with snow, staying in the hotel which was built in the 15th century. I wanted to film a little bit of uh, Zurich, but today it was uh, really rainy weather, four degrees, not really comfortable to film, to walk, everything is wet. And I bought a ticket to Zuos. Uh, it's about three hours. So I'm currently uh, in the train to Zuos. afternoon we have football, sports, film and performance and golf. Yeah. So kids they can do all these activities. So the minimum age is? 10 years old. Maximum? 16. All the science has come out here. So this building here is basically the science lab and uh, if you do like uh, biology, chemistry, physics, all this takes place in here. So you can see some students here. I know it's like it's minus 5, minus 10 right now, but students on campus here just go in their t-shirts. Tennis court, 
for two, two tennis scores down three. Let me show you my room. This is not the one like I had in uh, Zurich, the modern Abyss Hotel. This is a pure wood. This is a proper countryside. Let's go to the corridor. This place has so many unique things. Look at these chairs. Or a table. Or this wardrobe or whatever it is. I have no idea how it's called in English. Guys, look how cool it is inside the hotel. This is like a little restaurant. Some things I don't know what it is. Swiss chocolate as well. This is the really important uh, place, office called college counseling and basically this place is uh, where they help students to choose the right university to make the right choice and they basically help them to get to the place where they want to be and on the walls you can see the different flags from different places all over the world where the student counselors visited where they've been to so they know the universities this is the really important people here I sit down with them, um, I listen to what they're looking for, I give them advice on which program to choose. What makes us special is the combination of the things that we offer. Yeah. Um, we, there's nothing magic about what we do, but it's the way that we approach it and what we offer. Um, it's the, a very focused academic program that mm. we have with only two programs, one German taught, one English taught, um, and the both, both very demanding programs. And we balance out all the heart studying with a lot of sports. We're probably the most sportive school in Switzerland. And do you compete with uh, other schools uh, in the area or like somewhere around? Yeah, we compete with uh, schools, international schools across the whole of Switzerland. Um, we're actually the Swiss International School Group champions for football, for soccer. Um, and we've got some ice hockey com competitions coming up, yeah. uh, which is exciting. We had Oxford and Cambridge here yesterday, the universities. We have players who are playing at quite a high level of ice hockey and uh, students who ski to a high level in, um, in Germany. They often go across to Germany and do some competitions there. Uh, we also have, um, we recently had one of our students make the cricket team. So the school was founded in 1904 and this is the wall of fame and you can see and illustrate when the school teams want something and here for example you have uh, Oxford University visiting uh, the school in 1924 and all the pictures you have here at the wall. Uh, so down here now we have the students that are coming out onto the ice for the start of their games lesson. Um, we put a heavy influence on, uh, emphasis on having students learn the, the values that we want them to have inside them um, through sports and we call that the spirit of sorts. sick children, sick students, where they can then rest and get better and we can monitor them carefully. Of course, we're always trying to be um, as current in our offer as we can be. So for the next IB uh, students, we will be offering film as well as environmental systems and societies, um, both subjects that um, are very, um, very popular with students at the moment. So guys, uh, I'm inside the theater, theater room. It was a while ago a swimming pool, 
So basically, they had a swimming pool here in, in the building, but the swimming pool wasn't that popular, and they decided to convert the swimming pool and made um, a theater on here. So right now, students have an opportunity to do all the things related to theater in here at school. So in this place, is a reception for uh, the theater. So basically it's like in a real, real theater. You have uh, drinks in here, you have uh, people coming from uh, this side, from this door, and then you, you have the main door where you get an access to the theater. Yes, please. Ну, вообще, у нас трехразовое питание, и здесь в столовой у нас как шведский стол, на завтрак, обед и ужин. В общем, здесь наш бординг, и здесь офис, где сидят наши как house parents. Все они за нас отвечают, там, если у нас какие-то вопросы, проблемы, мы идем к ним. И можно готовить здесь а, на выходных. И, в общем, вот. Тут ребята к экзаменам готовятся. У нас просто сейчас неделя как раз экзамена. Здесь у нас стиральная комната, то есть у нас машинки и сушилки здесь. Сами стираете? Да, ну то есть порошок сами покупаем, а тут все просто закидываем и стирается. Ну и эта общага самая лучшая, она самая новая, так что нам повезло, мы сразу приехали и сюда заселились. Лучше здесь их несколько? Да, тут пять общак. Три для мальчиков и две для девочек. А у вас э, на IB вы что делаете? Какие программы? Что а, учите? Ну, мы выбираем шесть предметов на разных уровнях. И, собственно, их потом сдаем через два года. Вот комната. Блин, ну прикольно, что? А, очень большая, считается, по меркам бординг скулов. По меркам даже моего отеля, это считается, очень большая. Вот. Мне нравится вид в ту сторону, плюс там тихо, красиво, и можно еще, когда летом ребята играют в футбол, вон там поле, следить за ними, не выходя из комнаты. Нравится, да, в плане резиденции, общаги? Да, вот, очень да. хорошая общага, потому что, ну, у меня много знакомых тоже учили за границей, и вот у меня условия вот реально самые лучшие здесь. Потому что комнаты большие, плюс ты можешь выбирать жить отдельно или сам. Если у тебя там свободное окно между парами, можешь уйти куда-нибудь в город. Или там поиграть, там, не знаю, в хоккей и так далее. То есть не обязательно сидеть в школе. This is the little gym in uh, the girls boarding house, so you can train in here. Вот мужской бординг, который оранжевое здание, да, там окна. Получается, внизу, если спустишься, у нас там тоже классы. А, там в основном для, ну, арт, детей, то есть всякие мастерские и так далее. И на самом последнем для нашей общаги у нас ски-рум, где мы храним наши лыжи, и там ботинки и так далее. А, вот. Тут у нас как бы все просто вещи свои хранят, но у меня вот в шкафчике сейчас. У меня там просто мои лыжи стоят. А когда ты поступала, что ты сдавала сюда? А, тест а, английский и математику. И все? Да. А английский какой нужен, чтобы учиться? Ну, вроде как B2. B2, B2 B2, да? да. guys made out of wood so you can guess that this is an art room you have uh, pictures on walls different art installations in here as well as that we have English like a poetry society uh, and on top of that 
we have the Duke of Edinburgh Award, which is uh, the international award where students do a lot of experiential learning.